Hey guys, I know myself here. Welcome back to the channel and happy Thanksgiving to every single one of you guys that do celebrate Thanksgiving here in the United States and across the world. Happy Thanksgiving to you guys. I thought it'd be a great time to share some content with you guys to enjoy, relax, and sit back while you wait for that Thanksgiving dinner later tonight. So here we go. First up, thank you so much for your support throughout the year. I want to say thank you to every single one of you guys that watch my videos. Yesterday, I posted a screenshot of my personal device and how I have it set up. And you guys really requested this video on how I achieve this look right here. Now, as you can see, the dock has a highlighted rainbow color going around it. Of course, I have a custom theme, which is darked out. We also have the widget here on the home screen. We also have the notch being highlighted by a rainbow color. And for the lock screen, I also have the shortcuts, which do get the highlight as well, as you can see here. And the notch also gets highlighted as well. So how to achieve this look, how to set up your device to look like this, and to also achieve other looks as well. I wanted to show you how to do that today. Now you're going to need a few things. The links will be in the description. The first thing you're going to need is the actual wallpaper. So the wallpaper you'll be able to find in Safari. So let's head on over to Safari. It's this wallpaper right here. It is available for all devices that do have Face ID from iPhone 12 to 12 Pro, 11, 10s, 10s Max, etc. 10R. All of these devices do have this wallpaper. Just click into the settings right here to the options into the wallpaper. They do offer several colors, not only one. So you also have the ability to download the color white, gold, gray, rose gold, red. I mean, the colors and options are endless, but the one that I'm using is the one at the bottom here, the rainbow color. Now, in order to save this wallpaper to apply to your device, you want to go for the home screen one first. This one's going to be applied on the home screen. This one gives you the dock and the notch on the home screen. Just tap and hold once you select it and add it to your photos. And of course, you can apply that wallpaper at a later time to the home screen of your iPhone. Then go for the lock screen. Same thing applies. It shows you the highlight here for the shortcuts and and the notch just tap and hold and add it to your photos and then apply this wallpaper to the lock screen of your device and that way you'll be able to achieve this look for the home screen wallpaper and the lock screen wallpaper next is the widget now for the widget you're going to need an application and it's called wiggy this one right here will be linked in the description now from this application i use one widget which is here in the community tab of the application now you can use up to one widget for free if you want multiple widgets you do have to pay but you have the ability to only use one if you want and you can use the one that I'm using it is this one right here and you can further customize this one because the background is sort of grayish blue color here if you click edit before you copy it you can change the background color anything you want to change you can change but the only thing I've changed was the background color to make it black so it blends in with the background of the actual theme so there it is this is the one that I'm currently rocking right now of course to add that widget all you have to do is press and hold click on the plus icon, find the application with the actual widget, and then just simply implement the widget onto the home screen of your device. There it is, just add it, boom, just like so. Now we're gonna need the theme. So the actual theme is courtesy of this application right here, which of course will be linked in the description as well. So the app I don't really know how to pronounce is Moloko, I think it's how you pronounce it, Moloko. There it is. It offers several themes that you can choose from. They do have some free ones, but if you want to unlock the entire application and all the themes, I believe I paid $1.99 as a donation and I get access to all the themes here. This is the one that I'm using, Dark Black Light. This one here offers you a ton of great theming applications or custom icons for your applications. You have two types of icons you can download. You have your system apps, which is your core messaging, Safari, phone you also have music just your standard apps that come with your iPhone if you download this package this will actually download direct you to Safari here click allow and this will actually download those icons for you once you click OK or allow you can head on back to settings here so let's go ahead and find settings and in settings you'll find this new profile that appears once you go ahead and set that up click install enter your passcode the same one you use to unlock your iPhone once you do that just let it install by clicking allow and now we have all these standard iOS icons on the home screen of iPhone so there they are these are the icons right here now I can move these here to where I want them to go so let's go ahead and set this one up so Safari at the bottom let's go ahead and move all these icons to the main page here 
Okay, so here we go. Those icons are all set there. Let's go ahead and move a few of them down here so that we have some more space available. And there we go. Pretty much the same look. There it is. So we have the theme. We have the wallpaper. We have the widget. Now you can also add third-party icons as well. So if you have social media icons that you want to add, you can head on back to the application and then download the third-party application icons. This will give you your YouTube, your Instagram, your Facebook. This will theme those devices or those icons as well. So click download as well. It'll bring you to Safari. Click allow. Once again, go back into settings. And the great thing about this is that the applications actually open the app without redirecting to shortcuts. So this theme is applied here. No jailbreak required. Open settings. It opens settings right away. It doesn't bring me to another app. Open right here, Apple Music. It brings me directly to Apple Music. So it's truly theming your device here. Now you want to head on over to settings. As I mentioned, we're downloading the third-party application uh, widgets or icons here so let's go ahead and click install enter the passcode this is going to give us all the icons for the social media apps click done go back and on the home screen you find youtube you also find a ton of other icons here of course if you don't have the app you can download or you can edit and delete the actual icon from the home screen but if you do have the app you can let it install on your device so twitter right there it is custom twitter icon just opens twitter right away again it doesn't redirect or anything like that the ones that you do not have installed the apps that you do not have installed you can remove the icons from the home screen as i mentioned and that is how you achieve this look i hope you guys enjoyed this video once again thank you for the support for watching my videos happy thanksgiving have a great one with your friends and loved ones see you on the next one peace